Hey G Tech Kids, I'm so glad that you could be watching today, but I have an important question to ask you. Who took care of you when you were born? Who took care of you when you were a little, little baby? Did you just walk out of the house and say, all right, I'm gonna go get a job and the little baby got in the car, started up and then left home? Did it, do, do babies do that? No, they don't do that because they are dependent on people. They're dependent on someone to take care of them, right? So they need a mom or a dad or a grandma and grandpa to feed them, to change their diaper, to just do all the things that babies need because once they grow up, then they start to be independent. But when they're babies, they can't do things on their own. And so today we're gonna to be talking about a story in the Bible about a little baby that needed some help from their mom. So if you wanna go ahead and grab your Bibles, we're gonna be in Exodus, which is the second book of the Bible. We're gonna be in Exodus chapter two, and we're gonna be talking about baby Moses. So in um, Exodus chapter two, it says that there was a woman and she got pregnant and she had this beautiful, beautiful baby boy. So Moses, he was in trouble. There was a guy named Pharaoh who did not like the Hebrews and Moses, he was a Hebrew. And so he decided, cause he was kind of terrified of the Hebrews. He didn't want them to take over the world. So he decided to have all the baby boys under three years old killed. What Moses' mom did was she hid him. She hid him for three months. And all the soldiers, they kept looking for babies and they never found Moses because her mom was taking care of him and protecting him. But when he was three months old, she couldn't take care of him anymore. So she decided to make a basket and make it nice and watertight so nothing could get inside of it. And she put baby Moses into the basket and put it in the river. And so she put it into the area where it had tall grass so no one could see it. And when she left, the princess, Pharaoh's daughter, the guy that wanted to kill all the babies, his daughter came to probably wash her hair in the river and she saw this baby. She heard him crying and she knew that this was a Hebrew baby. She knew that this baby needed someone's help. And so she decided to um, find the mom and have the mom take care of the baby for a little bit longer and then when it's old enough to give it back to her so she could raise it. I knew that Moses needed protecting and that he had big plans for him. And just like how God had plans for Moses and how he protected him, God is with you. He's always protecting you, no matter what. Even from the day you were born, he knew you in your mother's womb, which is crazy. Like what? I wasn't even born yet, but he knew you. And he already knew your whole story, your whole life. And I think that's awesome. And so I was thinking, what could be more valuable? Like, what is something that we value so much? And I was thinking, $5 is very valuable, right? Who likes money? I know many of you guys, if I, <laughs> if you guys were here, you would say, pick me, pick me, right? So money is so, so valuable. And I'm sure if you had five bucks, you'd probably go to the Dollar Tree and get five different things, or maybe um, a pop at the gas station or some popcorn at the movie theater. There's so many things you could do with $5 because it's valuable. So if you saw this on the ground at the park, you pick it up and you put it right in your pocket because that's what we do because it's valuable. Just like how this $5 is valuable, God thinks that you are so valuable and that you are so loved. That's why he wants to protect you. That's why he's always with you. And so what would happen if I lit this $5 on fire? What would happen? Well, if you've ever had a fire, you would know that if you had something put in the fire, it would just turn into dust. It would turn into char and there'd be nothing left of it. It'd be, you couldn't do anything with it, right? But let's see if that's what's gonna happen here. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this. <gasps> Don't try this at home, kids. Whoa. What? That is 
insane. Let's see it one more time. One more time to see if we can do it. If it will just turn to dust, let's see if that will happen again. Whoa, isn't that awesome? That is so, so great. And so don't try that at home. But just like how that $5 didn't burn up, it's because, it's because there was something protecting it. There was something on it that was protecting it and you guys won't find out. But just like that, God is always protecting you. No matter what happens in your life, no matter if you go to school and someone bullies you, no matter if you, if something really, really bad happens in your life and someone dies, no matter what happens, God is always protecting you. And he, he does that because he loves us. And if you can just imagine how much God loves you and how much he's watching out for you and how many things he has planned for you, just like the story of Moses and how God didn't let him die. God had a special plan for him. And so I'm so glad that you guys could watch today and tune in next week so we can talk about Moses and all that he did for God when he was older. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.